Okay, so let's just um, settle into our meditation posture. And Maud, nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. Welcome. Sorry, just here we go. And just kind of settle in, bring your mind to the same place your body is. And check how you're feeling. Check what's coming up for you. And just notice. And try not to judge. Just accept what's there uh, with curiosity. And then check your feet and your legs, your hands, shoulders are over the hips. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. You can imagine someone is above you or behind you, very gently lengthening your spine. And just imagine your, all those muscles along the spine are just kind of stretching, lengthening. You're growing a bit taller. Your head is slightly tipped forward and the eyes are down, looking along the lengths of the nose, the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth and relax the jaw. And just bring your attention to the crown of your head and relax your scalp and the forehead and the nose, the cheeks, the area around the mouth. Relax the jaw, the back of the head, the ears, the temples, back of the tongue. And relax the, release any tension in the back of the neck. Allow your shoulders and your shoulder blades to just kind of drop down. Relax the throat and the chest and the belly, limbs, hands, fingers, and feet and toes. And bring the mind to the breath, noticing the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. As you're exhaling, it's slightly cooler. And if there are any sounds in your environment, just allow them to be there. And try not to have the mind run off and investigate. And then bring the mind to the breath. And again, notice what's arising in your mind. And again, don't judge. Just allow those thoughts to arise and to abide and try and put some space in between your thoughts. And just imagine that you're sitting on the bank of this river and you're watching that river flow on by this river of mental moments. So you're not being swept away by all those thoughts. You're not engaged, you're just watching. Just an interested observer. And then let's bring to mind all those people of our life. And I'm curious to know, I mean, just bring to mind, have any of those people of your life, since we've been doing this now for maybe over a year, have any of them changed place? the friend, the enemy and the stranger. And then just bring them to mind, the person, those people you love, very, very dear to your heart, who care for you, who you care for. And then that person you have Quite a bit of difficulty with and then there's those strangers and then think they're all deserving equally of our concern because they they all want to be happy just like you and they all want to be free from suffering and they all have this 
unbelievable capacity for this enlightened mind. I think we'll do this practice tonight for the benefit of all these people of our life, and by extension, all sentient beings. So remembering there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process is basically a psychological one. So we create negativity with our mind, and we can change it by creating positivity with our mind. So here we come, first of all, to the power of regret. So Lama Zagrimbache says that regretting something that you've done is kind of goes a long way to purifying it. So it's a good place to start. Some, some people leave this slightly differently, but this is the way Venerable Ravina has written it. So the power of regret, sincerely regret from the depths of your heart, anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all of our past lives. And think of specific actions, of both your body and your speech, and then in general, regret all. And the reason we're regretting is based on this logic of karma. And we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. Having harmed others, we will necessarily experience suffering in the future. So then it would make sense if we don't want to experience any more suffering that we pull out those negative karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering. So think like this, I regret from the depths of my heart, <clears throat> excuse me, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering, and also regret any anger and attachment and the rest of the cause of why we harm others, and think I'm sick of this suffering, and think what can I do about it, whom can I turn to? So here we turn to the Buddha, Vajrasattva, this is called the power of reliance. So we rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. And it's not that we're needing the Buddha to forgive us. We purify ourselves by relying upon his methods. We're healing ourselves. So visualize Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. And you can also imagine that he is your guru or your teacher, your spiritual mentor, manifesting in this aspect for your benefit and he's made of radiant blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and although this lotus is born out of mud is growing out of uh, like a muddy pond it's untainted by that mud and this is the analogy they use for our enlightened potential born out of our delusions but yet untainted by them he has this beautiful radiant face his eyes are long and peaceful Full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life you can imagine that he's so happy to see you there's no no worries about how it is you're turning up this evening whatever it is is coming up in your mind even if you're not quite present it's totally fine it's just whatever is there that you're here he's happy to see you his hair is black and held up in a top knot he's a sweet red mouth his arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And their being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings, the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of people you've harmed recently and in the past and then and beings we have ever harmed since the beginning of this time. And then think of the people that have harmed you. And this is a little bit more difficult maybe to develop compassion for these people. But just remember, the harm they've caused you is going to manifest for suffering for them in the future with no kind of, there's no date for that. It'll just appear when the karma ripens. It might be it's not such a great surprise. And so have compassion for them because of that. And think we make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings, <clears throat> think I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the actual medicine, the doing of the practice of purification. 
So we're using visualization and mantra. And first we purify the body. So Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, like coming from a hose, very forcefully from his heart. And it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as you recite the mantra. <clears throat> Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sepokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sava Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sava Kama Sitsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sava Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Te Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sepokaya Mebawa Anuraka mebawa, sawa sidi mempi yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, am vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dudu mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, sapokaya mebawa, Anuraka mebawa, sawa sidi mempi yato sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Am Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dudu Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa Anurakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Am Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dudu Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa Anurakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sudam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Am Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dudu Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa Anurakta mebawa, sawa sidi mempi yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, am vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dudu mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, sipokaya mebawa, Anurakta mebawa, sawa sidi mempi yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. <clears throat> I think there is no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So the next is a purification of speech. So again, Vajrasattva sends very happily powerful nectar from his heart chakra. And this arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, filling your own entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech. And this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So you can just imagine all your harsh speech, gossipy speech and careless words, lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, getting other people to agree with you, <clears throat> All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dido Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anurakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yato Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dido Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anurakta mebawa, sawa sidi mempi yato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dudu mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, sipokaya mebawa, 
and erecta me boa, saba sidi me piata sawa kama sita me sitam triam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe and vajra sapa samaya manupa laya vajra sapa dina patita dido me boa, sutokaya me boa, sapokaya me boa. An erecta me boa, saba sidi me piata sawa kama sita me, sitam triam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe, am vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sepokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, saba sidi me piata sawa kama sita me, sitam triam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe. Am vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sepokaya me boa. An erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe. Am vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sepokaya me boa. An erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified. And imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech. So the next is a purification of the mind. And Vajrasapa now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra. And this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a pitch black room and you switch on a light, that light instantly dispels the darkness in the room. So it's just the same here, just as, as the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra or the darkness of the negativity of your mind, excuse me, so all the attachment and the neediness and the anger and depression, bitterness and grudges and jealousy, all of this is instantly dispelled as we recite the mantra. Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siti Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Karuhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe, am vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita, dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sepokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe. Am vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita. Duda me boa, sutokaya me boa, sepokaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam triam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe. Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sepokaya me boa Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sepokaya me boa an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe, am vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita, duda me boa, sutokaya me boa, sepokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam karuhum ha 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 ho bagoan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a 
Om Pei. <clears throat> so again, be delighted that all your delusions, all of our own delusions, which are the cause of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we all harm others with our body and our speech, are totally purified. And they're gone, finished. And think there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. And so the next is the purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. And this time imagine Vajrasattva sends um, light and nectar from his heart. So you can imagine, <clears throat> if you wish, this, this visualization as you recite a couple of mantras for each of the visualizations we've just done of the body, speech, and mind, or you can just imagine light and nectar pouring into you, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as you recite the mantra. Om Bajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anaracta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajama Me Matsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hompe Om Bajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anaracta meboa, saba siddhi mempi yatsa sawa kama sitsa me, sitam triyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hom pe, um bhajrasapa samaya manupalaya bhajrasapa dina patita, dhuda meboa, sutokaya meboa, supokaya meboa, anaracta meboa, saba siddhi mempi yatsa sawa kama sitsa me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom Pe Am Bhajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bhajrasapha Dina Patita Dhuda Me Bowa Sutokaya Me Bowa Sipokaya Me Bowa Anaraka Me Bowa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom Pe Am Bajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapha Dina Patita Dhuda Me Bowa Sutokaya Me Bowa Sipokaya Me Bowa Anaracta Me Bowa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom Pe Am Bajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapha Dina Patita Dhuda Me Bowa Sutokaya Me Bowa Sipokaya Me Bowa Anaracta me bowa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sitta me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hom pe, am bhajrasapha samaya manupalaya bhajrasapha dina patita, dhuda me bowa, sutokaya me bowa, supokaya me bowa, Anaracta me bowa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sitta me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So now feel you are completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. Obscurations to your enlightenment. So now we come to the power of resolve. And this is the fourth step in the purification process and a really crucial one. So this is the determination to not harm with our body and our speech and our mind again. Well, again is like, sounds like forever. And because we have habits and because we're human, it's likely that we will just kind of slip up every now and then. We're not perfect. And we have to remember that. And without this determination, though, we're going to keep doing the same old habits over and over again, the same old things. And this determination, this aspiration to not harm again, is kind of like a beacon that guides us in new directions. It's kind of like a, it's our support. So Rinpoche says, everything exists, exists on the tip of the wish, the aspiration. And as for our other old habits, you know, if we can't commit to never doing 
all these old habits that we have ever again right now and that's as I was saying just again just a moment ago it is difficult because they're habits so we just kind of give ourselves a little timeline so for 30 seconds I will not engage in negative self-talk for 30 seconds I will not talk about so-and-so for 30 seconds I will not have sort of a, a, a jealousy story going on in my head so whatever it is it's your thing that's kind of occupying your mind right now try and think of working on it or something to do with our our body maybe we eat too many chocolate chip cookies or something so just give yourself a, a, a doable timeline not something that not like a new year's resolution that's kind of oh yes i'm never going to do this ever again just something reasonable humble as we try to make changes okay and this determination to not do again is what gives us the strength to change so Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind he melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my guru's body speech and mind and Vajrasattva's body speech and mind and my own body speech and mind are the same thing and Lama Yeshi used to call that Union oneness. So next, Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So, at whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there for a little while. In this way, you can look at all phenomena as being empty, they do not exist from their own side. And also, you can imagine that perhaps. The way things appear to you, perhaps the way you interpret things, the way you look at things, the way you understand things, maybe that's not the way they truly exist. It's just a different way of thinking. So let's just dedicate all the merit and all the positive energy we've created this evening doing this purification to all living beings, all those people of your life, and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible and for his holiness the dalai lama the wish granting wish fulfilling jewel source of every single happiness and benefit in this world to the incomparably kind tenzing yatsu i beseech may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled and phalamsa parimbashe Ten zing kyong pel away, kuns o dog poor zay. Chog sum kur away, leg mon to drum. Pa dog sog do leje, gondu jab ten shog. And for Lama Ursul, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors for those wondrous and far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And for Geshe Sherab, beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. So there we are again, gone like a dream. This week has gone so fast yet again. I feel like my life is disappearing before my very eyes. Anyway, everybody, thank you very much. Do take care, lots of love. And I look forward to seeing some of you tomorrow morning, bright and early. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks it's for so hosting, thank you so Michael and Shayla. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Lots of love.